Hi there, this is Mackenzie from the Lower Columbia Estuary Partnership. I'm out here at Salmon Creek and I'm checking on the plants that we planted with you guys in the fall. I'm just checking to see how they're doing and I thought that you guys might be interested in looking at some of them. So here we go. So a couple things are really different now from when you visited in October. Here's a before shot from October and here's what it looks like now. So you'll notice that the creek has quite a bit more water, which makes sense since it's been raining all winter and Salmon Creek gets a lot of runoff from stormwater from the surrounding neighborhoods. Part of the reason that we're planting so many trees is that we're hoping to keep Salmon Creek cool, clean, and clear. And then the second thing that's really different is that everything is much more green now, including the plants that you planted. Over here you can see some examples of the willow trees that you planted. You might remember that in the fall these just looked like sticks and you pushed about two feet underneath the ground and now they're just getting their first leaves and as the growing season continues we expect that these leaves will turn into little branches and eventually they'll get taller and as time goes on these will turn into big willow trees and provide lots of shade for Salmon Creek. You may have also planted potted plants with us. So here is one of them, a newt carose with a little visitor. We ended up leaving a bunch of one gallon planting pots at the site and one of our jobs for today was to pick up some of those pots and bring them back so that we could recycle them. But as we started moving them, we noticed that they had become a really good habitat for garter snakes. So if you look closely, you can see there's one right here living in this little pot. And then close by, there was another one in the grass. And all told, we ended up finding about six or seven snakes. And since we were worried about putting them into our truck and having a stowaway, we started separating all of the pots and right when we got to the end, we found this little vole hidden in one of the pots and it jumped out and then was kind of stunned and sat there on the grass for a while so we could look at it. The garter snakes and voles were definitely not the only animals or animal signs spotted out at Salmon Creek. You may be hearing the song sparrow in the background. And then I also noticed these deer tracks along the edge of the creek. And so I followed them for a few feet until I found this big pile of chocolate covered raisins. Or maybe it was deer scat, you can decide. So right now I'm walking a little bit further along the deer trail that follows Salmon Creek because I want to get to a planting site that we did a couple years ago with your school and see how those plants are doing. So I made it to the site and I'm walking through these really tall willows. They're maybe between five and eight feet tall. And there's some Douglas spirea, you can see them. They've got those kind of brown seed pods on the top. In the spring there are these really beautiful purple flowers but everything looks so healthy here and it's amazing how much things can grow within just a few years. Here's a little beaver dam that we found on one of the side channels to Salmon Creek and I can see a couple of our willow cuttings in the mix there but that's okay we know that the wildlife are going to use these plants as part of their habitat and we definitely plant extra knowing that some will be taken by beaver or deer. You can see Sam is walking along the edge here and she's passing by some of the plants that we've put protective coverings on so that the beavers don't actually chew them down. Hey, it's Sam here from the Laura Columbia Estuary Partnership. Um, I'm at Salmon Creek and I'm taking a look at all the work that we did last fall with you planting and it looks awesome. Um, while I was walking on the trail, I ran into this lovely plant called Nuka Rose and it's blooming right now. So you should get on out to the trail and check out the plants that you planted and the uh, ones that are blooming along the trail. Bye, thanks for watching everyone and thanks so much for your hard work this fall planting all these trees. They're gonna grow so big and tall and provide lots of shade for Salmon Creek. The trails are open right now. Our planting site is really accessible and we encourage you and your family to come on out and take a look.